that spot. You earned it. I, guess, I like that shirt. It's fire right there. You see that? I like that. Yeah, the Cardinal. Well, Rio. Oh, very well, Christmas. Christmas yeah. yeah. We're just talking about Christmas. He's in verdict. the spirit, bro. Christmas rules. That's the verdict right there. But we got <laughs> game one coming up. Byleth against Rob. You see a little bit of long range action here to start it off, Coney. Yep. Arrows are going to be coming out. Gyros and lasers. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of long distance play. Leo's going to, of course, try to utilize that neutral air as much as possible. Probably more than you usually see, and that's a lot. Uh, Leo loves dropping that neutral air, particularly on Rob, such a large character. If he can actually, uh, uh, yeah, yep. not even me, he's you a know big what? guy. You know what you know? decided officially, Coney? Yeah. Rob is big. It's retired after this year, guys. Get him out of your system now. The joke is dead. That's it after. We all know already. Rob is big. Like you said, the cross up player is going to be real from the nair, but anathema has got to find some damage quickly on MK Leo. Hasn't hit him yet. There you go. Now, all of a sudden, Leo could just die here. <laughs> That's Rob for you. Yeah, Rob is just so scary off on the side. You see the double down tilts. Gets the forward throw. Oh, I'm sorry, the forward air. Yeah, maybe Rob's like New Year re resolutions get smaller, right? <laughs> I see my plan Trying to get a little. You know what I, I mean? <laughs> I wonder how much Rob would go up if he was like skinny Rob. 0.75 percent size. You oh know what God. I mean? Like a quarter down. Yeah, he's wide Rob right now. Trying to see him, you know. There you go. Oh, that kill! He died to Anathema that. with the lead right now. We're talking about big Rob. He's talking about big plays from Anathema. Big up air off the top. I'm actually shocked he died there. You see Anathema with that gyro just. Trying to threaten from mid-range. Got the neutral air into the dash attack. And really what Leo's going to try to do is use that neutral air, just try to poke Rob as much as possible. Oh uh, run out of gas. Try to run under Rob. That's another thing that we saw Leo do a lot, is that up air sort of disjointed and actually can skip the phase of the fight where you know Rob is trying to land and just spamming that neutral air. See a lot of Leo here too. A lot of frame traps that Violent has are gonna be so good. That up air too is just gonna be trouble. It's such a good hitbox on that move, but Leo's about to go down another stock here. This is bad. And that's when this is the forward air though, barely making it back. Good recovery from Leo. That would have been really bad. Recover from anywhere, dude. That's insane. Yeah. It's kinda underrated, honestly. I feel like not enough people talk about it, but Leo now. Back foot a little bit, 107. Got to find out something here against Anathema. Here's the opportunity, though. Oh, my God, going to the side of that up there. I was just talking about that. You got to be able to avoid that move. And with Rob, again, a large body character, it's not going to be easy to do, but Anathema makes it work out. That was huge. Yeah, being able to drift to the side and go for the forward air rather than just dropping with the neutral air that he's ready yeah. for. A huge hit there from Leo. He's able to sneak those out in ways and in places that you never expect. And now we've just got a lot more neutral airs coming out. Yeah. Anathema really struggling to land in most scenarios. I feel like I never see Rob's air dodge, but Anathema Whoa. being forced to do it a ton. Again, we saw barely a miss there, Coney. We saw, obviously, the fair off stage and the up smash. There you go, finding the second one, though. Last last situation, Anathema versus Leo. Game one, this is huge, Coney. They're trying to catch the landings, trying to catch Anathema, jumping into the neutral air. Oh, and wow, just stuffing that string there. Oh. Weird air dodge, but should be fine. Yeah. yeah. Like how he waited out the top, too. Just waiting out the gyro. Anything that is going to threaten him off stage. But now looking for another up air like the first stock. Here we go. Nathma, I mean, he's got so much momentum right now. Hold on. Yeah, and I love the, uh, the up throw there rather than down throw. Just trying to get the raw damage and put Leo in a compromising position. He did the up throw, and then he immediately waited for Leo to do something. Leo picked air dodge, and then he was able to get that top out. Love the mix up there, but still trailing by quite a bit. Leo forcing him to go to the ledge there with that arrow. I love it. Knew it wasn't going to hit, but he wanted him out to have to, to be able to ledge trap him. But now we have Nathema. Okay, hold on. Man, this is so back and forth right now. Nathema can get off this. Oh, no, he can't. Okay, there you go. Leo clearing him out there. First game going to MK Leo. But I got to say, Coney, that went down to basically last hit there. Yeah, that was closer uh, than I think a lot of people might have expected just looking at this matchup on paper. But, yeah, yeah. Nathema definitely putting some stuff on the board. Really, Leo is off on the side there. That's where... He, you're going to see him at his most dangerous when he has you off the side, off the corner. I feel like I see him go for those drop uh, forward airs, sometimes even drop back airs uh, off stage, and it really surprises people. And when you're a, a, such a tall character as Rob, it's so easy to just get cracked right there. Yeah, and I mean, you saw it from Leo too. Sometimes he'll stand there and he'll force you to ledge, use things like arrow and, and do that, but then he can surprise you, you know, really using the full arsenal. It's so fast. Yeah, the full arsenal of, of uh, Byleth, which is so important to do with the character. You're not going to use everything that she has. You might as well spare he. You might as well pick another character, right? So right now, zero to 38. Leo trying to wait for Anathema to get off the ledge. Anathema able to sneak around him, but doesn't matter. Still 75%. Yeah. 
We've seen a lot of what shades of game one here, early lead from Paleo, but remember, Nabba took the first stock in the first game. See if you can repeat that magic, maybe take down a game here, Coney. It's definitely not out of the realm of possibility, but man, again, that sweet spot dash attack is such a good move. Good follow up tool. I feel like Anathema, oh strangely enough, I feel like Anathema is actually winning the on stage interactions, but as soon as we get to the ledge, Leo is just racking up so much damage, putting on so much pressure. You saw him there. What he was doing was setting up for the back air and trying to make Anathema pick an option, like just sit there and shield eat the shield poke, maybe spot dodge, something like that, and Anathema rolled into him and took the neutral air. Whenever we're off on the side, Leo is winning. Whenever we're on stage, Anathema is definitely going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I like the down tilts from Anathema there, too. Not able to hit a couple options. Up smash we saw with the first game, but now looking for more consistent options. Mashing that down tilt certainly going to be good. But now, like you said, Coney, back in the corner here. This is where top players are going to shine. When you don't have any stage to move, when you pick options, they're going to cover them. But Anathema taking his time. I like it. Far out of the corner once, but Leo puts him right back off stage again. Rinse and repeat. Super patient. Uh, almost lost out on the shield on that, but that up air is going to be quite the reversal. Wow. Leo oh. never afraid to regrab. Never afraid to regrab. Yeah, it's the confidence at the ledge. You see it from a lot of other top players too, where they're not afraid to regrab the ledge, mix it up. Oh my God! Watch your shield, Rob. Thank God he's big. He needed that big shield right there. And yeah, the a lot of him is going to be poking out of that shield now, and Leo's going to try to aggress. Anathema sort of reversing that by using that laser, catching Leo jumping, but not doing a ton of damage. Uh, double his damage currently. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and there we go. Finally, the up tilt will do it. You gotta give Anathema a lot of credit for living at 200% against MK Leo. It's not easy to do, especially as much time as he was living on the ledge. So, right. And look where we are again. <laughs> Coney. <laughs> just cornered. Nice call out that jump there, too. You're trying to go high. I won't let you do that. Get back down here, man. God, oh there's God. that landing hit of neutral air, the yeah. T Slayer. <laughs> I'll never forget that set, T versus Leo, where T just did not know about that last hit. And uh, you see Anathema getting plugged by it. Just have to watch it. Hold on to the shield for longer than you might think. And now Leo about to lap in Athema in percent. Game kind of okay. getting away from him, but there's the upper. Okay, yeah. oh, so yeah, yeah, it yeah, killed yeah, yeah. first game <laughs> One at lower. Yeah, 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 and it didn't kill now with Rage. That's nonsense. It's just the move. It mixes you up so much. You get tossed side to side. It's like, all right, which side am I going to pop out of? And the DI is opposite, too. Like, we can pop right. out a different side, so you can just mess it up easily. But two-stock lead here now. MK Leo doing what we know him to do. Pulling Bohar, full, the full stocks ahead. Only one now, though, Coney. Yeah, Nathma. I, you know, the answer here when you're looking at Rob, right, is some kind of gyro combo, maybe get into the side B off stage, go for some off stage stuff. But I've talked to so many players that said that they felt confident in fighting Byleth and saying that they're going to go off stage against Leo and that they're going to gimp him. I feel like I've only yeah. seen one person do it, and it's Esam. And, and yeah. like, it was very rare, even still. Uh, it's just not something that comes naturally. It's going to be tough for Anathema to close this gap. He's going to have to do it just the hard way, and it seems like he's, you know, putting numbers on the board. The problem is he's starting to get outpaced here. Yeah. Anathema cooking a little bit, though. It's definitely starting to warm up, but, oh, my, wow. again, going for that. I love that pressure from Leo because there's so many multi-hits to the Nair. you got to respect that move. He forces you to respect it. Up air not killing yet. But then he pulls out the big hit of the, of the down air. If you're not ready for it, you're going to shield it. Potentially broken shield, lost stock, something like that, man. You're going to take a lot of damage on the shield front or otherwise. It's crazy how safe it is, right? Because, yeah. like, it, it reminds me of the Belmonts, like, bouncing off your shield with down air. You sort of had this instinct that, hey, that was a huge hit. I could probably hit him for aggressing on my shield, but no, you can't. Yeah, that, I don't even know what weapon that is, to be honest. Is it a no, an axe, a axe, maybe? Whatever it is, dude, it is huge. It looks like a lollipop. It, yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, Leo going to the lollipop there. Lollipop, lollipop down air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has it hits so hard. The shield stun is just ridiculous on that move. You can't move for like a while after it hits your shield. You're stuck. It's funny because you just get stuck by this lollipop and then like he's chasing you around the stage because your shield's gone and you're just oh god, oh god. Coney, you want to talk about the characters on the screen right now? Uh oh no. No, <laughs> don't do that, Leo. Come on. Uh, you know what's funny? I was on here with Max yesterday. Yeah. And I was saying that Leo's uh Pyramithra, you know, it. On paper, it seems like Leo, Pyramithra, match made in heaven, right? Of uh, course. Anime character, he loves that. Sword fighter, oh god, right up his alley. Uh, as uh, probably the best sword player in the world, right? Yep, I yep. mean, he plays this stuff. And I said that his Pyramithra just wasn't really impressing. It, it didn't really have the fundamentals, wasn't putting stuff together. We knew that he was super talented, but wasn't really working out.
However, uh, we watched his Pyramithra yesterday and looked a lot cleaner. Okay. Looked a lot better. Don't know if it's something he's been practicing explicitly. Uh, he did tweet that he wanted to play more Joker, so maybe he lied. I think I about that know. tweet all the Dude, I thought about that tweet. I was like, I think he was trolling, honestly. I think he just wanted some Twitter impressions, to be it, real with you. Hey, it worked. It did. <laughs> I was impressed. I was Twitter impressed. Oh, my God. That's nerfed, by the way. Barely didn't kill. Very, very close there. One, still one of the best forward smashes in the game, in my opinion. It's crazy. For the speed, yeah. Like, for the fact that it comes out so quickly. And it hits at the top. Yeah. I see cover the ledge there, too. But either way, Anathema trying to make a comeback happen again. Kind of the theme of the set. First stock goes Leo's way. But then Anathema fights back very impressively, honestly. This is this is a really, really good Rob player, for yeah. sure. I love the gyro combos on the right side. And I love pushing Leo onto the ground. And Leo had to tech. And Anathema kept running. Just kept running into him. Just trying to cover the, the roll nice. away. Didn't expect to have to shield. Leo's not going to pick get up attack, at least not early. And I like that Anathema was able to recognize that. Back to the Pyra, though. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, man. Anathema with the lead here again. Punishing him off stage. A lot of people talk about how, as the matchup develops, you're going to see ah. more punishes on the recoveries of Pyra and Mithra. But I don't know, man. The recoveries on the other side, as, as, better, as much better, as better as people are getting at punishing them on the recovery, the recovers from the Pyras and Mithras are going to get better and better as we go on. We saw it from Cloud and Smash 4 too. Very similar thing. Leo casually racking up 75%, by the way. Part of me wonders how much Anathema has played this matchup because you saw the classic thing there where uh, Mithra got, you know, she ended the final hit with the up B. And then Anathema tried to punish it with a fastball neutral air. Tried to get down to the ground and punish her for hitting it. And then he just got up tilted for his trouble. That's yep. something that you kind of got to read out of your system. It's something you kind of have to learn not to try to fight as time goes on because you realize she's going to get to the ground. You're not going to be able to punish her. And Anathema just basically got zero to death. Yeah, there. it was huh. a long-term long zero to death. You know what I mean? Here we go. Back air, okay. Pressure there, too. It's a crazy thing, too. Even if you air dodge or get out of their combos, there's a good chance they force you to the ledge anyway, especially on a stage like Battlefield. Honestly, it might be one of the reasons why you went uh, Pyro Mythra. Warm them up for the main bracket. I mean, this is Smash War Tour. You're not going to be, you won't be going 100%. I know. The, the up B landing Leo, is crazy. Leo literally landed right in front of Anathema, and Anathema didn't do anything. This is tough. Leo oh, hasn't okay. been touched in like two minutes, finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. does it. Find some damage here. But when Anathema starts getting hits, it, it makes it count, honestly. We'll see, though. A lot of work to make up here against a very dangerous character, the best player in the world. Not looking great for the Rob from Florida, but anything's possible, Tony. I think Anathema just is sort of feeling the jitters of the big stage here. Uh, don't want to, you know, speculate too much, but I'm seeing a lot of air dodges, like I said, a lot of defensive movement, and a lot of opportunities where it seems like Anathema could get a hit, where yeah. he's just maybe second-guessing himself, not really giving himself the, uh, the credit he deserves for putting Leo in a bad spot. Tries to get the side B, not going to happen. He got one hit of the side B, man, and it didn't keep going. He traded, so right. Leo able to recover. Nice by Leo. Oh, boy. He's on the hunt here. This is so scary. Down air. <laughs> I thought an F, but <laughs> gave oh, it up. Oh, God. Okay. Nice get up attack. Good recognition. Charge up the neutral B. Here we go. Oh, my God. He was cooking right there with that. I love seeing other players use the top. Different characters, like the crazy combos right. that come up and follow, but here we go. 167. Yeah, I was going to say, pretty much any aerial seals it out now. MK Leo taking that one down 3-0, but you gotta give Anathema a lot of credit, especially that first game. That, that first game was a nail biter, honestly. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. Rob against Leo, you gotta know he knows that matchup for sure. He plays big boss all the time. They're good buddies. So not gonna be an easy matchup to win by any means, but MK Leo moving on 3-0. So you can see Byleth obviously in game one and two. Coney, like we saw. A lot of danger there in game three. Seeing a pirate and Mithra from MK Leo, which you said we haven't seen in a little while. Yeah, and it, it wasn't looking particularly impressive. Like I said before, I mean, like it was a good pirate Mithra, obviously, but 